you're wondering to yourself on how to be a VTuber. Well, in today's video, I'm going to go over just that. I'm going to show you on how you can be a VTuber in 2021 and beyond. My name's Anubis Lives. I am your VTuber Senpai. I upload here on YouTube every Wednesday, 12 p.m. PST. On this channel, I cover anything and everything regarding VTubing and beyond. If you like what you see, smash that like button. Leave a comment down below, uh, ideas of future videos or what you thought about this one. And well, subscribe. I do have a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021. So if you don't mind helping me out, that'd be great. Let's get into it. Be a VTuber, you just need five things to get started. And we're gonna go through every single one of those things right now. The first thing you're gonna need is, well, a model. So let's take a look at a free option of getting a model and some other options that you can get a model for kind of cheap. Free option is using something like Vroid Studios. Vroid Studios is a very simple and easy to use program. If you don't mind in dabbling, trying to make your own model, it is actually really fun and actually really fulfilling to try to do yourself. It is something that is very essential. And I say definitely at least try to make your own model first and see if it's something that you like to use or even willing to try to use. Your next option is going somewhere that is a little bit cheap and affordable to do, and that is using a platform like Fiverr. On Fiverr, you can find artists that will make you a VTubing avatar for a fairly decent price. You don't need something extravagant when you're first starting out anyway, so this is a very nice option for you to use. Now that we have the avatar portion out of the way, let's take a look at software. Pieces of software like Luppet, VC Face, and 310A are amazing choices for you to use. Coincidentally, I made a video on all three. Check the description down below for those videos or the little note card that pops above for a well, little playlist of them. No matter what piece of software you decide to use, everybody's going to have a different opinion of that software. Best thing I can suggest is to basically try out all the different pieces of software and see which one works for you. There's going to be lots of software out there that I didn't even mention in this video or made a video for yet. So just go around, try them out and see what you like the most. And then if it's something you like, stick with it and go from there. Okay, so the third thing we got to look out for is our microphone. A microphone is one of the more important things you need for your stream, in my personal opinion. But a good, nice, clear voice can really make your VTube model pop a little bit more. Now, I do have a video up here and also in the cards down below of what you can do to enhance the microphone you have already or different suggestions I suggest for a microphone to help you out just a little bit more. Just think of it this way. Would you want to listen to somebody that has a microphone that sounds like it's inside of a tin can or really scratchy or just really not that great to listen to? Just keep that perspective in mind and do what you can. All right, so item number four. What we need is, well, obviously a webcam. A webcam, you sometimes can get away with not using, but it actually makes a world of difference if you do have a webcam. But if you can't afford one, that's okay. Because in my video that I actually kind of sort of made, it goes over different webcams that you can use. And if you don't have a webcam, can't afford a webcam, different pieces of software you can use like DroidCam for Android to turn your mobile phone into a webcam that you can use for VTubing. Thankfully, we have lots of different webcam options out there. So whatever method you decide to use a webcam, go for it. All right, so for item number five, can you guess what it could be? It's something that you actually really don't need to have but it's kind of fun to actually own. Can you guess what it is? It's Elite Motion. Elite Motion is something that can also enhance your VTube experience. Elite Motion actually gives you pretty decent hand tracking and actual finger tracking as well. 
So uh, it's something I would definitely consider to use if you plan on using your hands like like for me, for example, I'm Italian. I love to talk with my hands. So it's something I actually like to use quite often. Elite Motion will run you around $90 USD. Prices do fluctuate all the time. So you might be able to snag it for a little bit cheaper, but around 90 USD is pretty much what you're going to be paying for one. It's again, something you don't need. It's something to enhance the stream just, just a little bit. It's, it's more for the viewers than for you, but it's something to at least consider trying to use. But with all that being said, what do you think is the crucial VTubing gear that everyone should try to use or should really own? Leave a comment down below with what that suggestion could be. Again, my name is Anubis Lives. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 to 9 p.m. PST. Come on by, say hi. Let's talk about VTube, VR, anime, gaming, whatever. And well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.